Yes, and so we we'd done our, our two weeks of training in this high school, and then we were, we're off on our trip. So this is this is how we got to, we had to go to uh, Sicily. And this is how we got there. We took a bus to uh, Nanaimo, and then we took a ferry across to Vancouver. We took a Air Canada flight to um, Toronto. We took a train to Trenton, Ontario. We got on a, an army army uh, plane and went to Lahr, Germany. And from Lars, Germany, we went down through Italy, and we were on a train, and we had no idea about luggage. Everybody had two bags, and and uh, so we would we would get on this train. We had no interpreter. We had no money. We had no food. We would get on a train. We would throw everything on, and then we someone would speak broken English, tell us this train didn't go to Sicily. We needed to get on a train at the next stop, three stops over. So we would, but you only had ten minutes to do it. So we would throw all our luggage out of the window and grab it, and like systematically get all our luggage to the next train. And this went on and on and on, and we had no food. And someone would run off and try to get money exchanged, but they, we were barely getting back. So finally, we landed in. Uh, in Rome, and our coaches said, enough. Everybody's exhausted. We were over 24 hours traveling. We had no seats in the train either. We had to stand up because we hadn't reserved. So we got to Rome, and, and our coach went off and found a, a place for us to stay, and she left a player as collateral to keep the rooms for us and came back and got all of us, and then we had to walk to get this stay in this hotel and uh, and uh, stayed there overnight and then the next day we went to Sicily by train again and we had to catch a cattle car across the across the water to get to Sicily and the cows all around us and we're sitting there too going on this train to get to Sicily so that was our a very memorable trip <laughs> our tallest player was 6'3 and I remember her telling a story that she was at the high post and she had the ball and she turned around to look over her shoulder, and her name was Semenova. Semenova was there. So she turned back quickly around to her right to do a drop stop that way, and she was still there, but she hadn't moved. <laughs> like she was she was a large woman, like not just tall. She was large. Yeah. yeah. There's one picture that they took of me doing a left-hand layup. I looked like yep. a sky and You're off the way up in the air. Yeah, taking that <laughs> shot. So I scored 24 points, which was unusual for me because I, I really didn't have a shot. It was just layups, steal the ball layups. So... Anyway, I, I, we, we ended up beating Italy, which was uh, uh, always a close game for us. But I got so much attention from then on, like the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the tournament. I kept thinking, if you only knew, I'm not an offensive threat. I'd much rather get rid of the ball. I like spending time with my kids, and I think my kids are hilarious. We're all, they're always messaging, and uh, they're just so quick-witted and, and bright. Bright. I'm really happy with them. Of course, the grandchildren, absolutely. And mm -hmm. then spending time with my husband, like we're, we've got a lot in common, so we're doing lots. So it's a good time in my life, really. Mm -hmm.